Yeah. So guys, it's this bro. This is my vlog number 29. Uh, my last vlog was about my experience uh, winning my first tournament. It was a, like a small tournament in Quebec uh, for $300. Well, that was the first, pli uh, first price place. First place price. Anyway, <laughs> prizes. Anyway, uh, so my MLG experience on, uh, so it was like five days of traveling, I left on the 27th, I got back yesterday the 1st of July, so uh, I left at, uh, I left at like 6am, I woke up at 5, I, I didn't have time to eat, then when I got there, uh, we were like really busy on schedule, like I didn't have time to eat there as well, um, whoops, I think I messed up, yeah, yeah I messed up, I'm sorry about that, uh, okay, so, um, so I didn't eat the whole day, uh, just because uh, American Airlines, their lunch on the plane is really expensive. It's like $10 for a sandwich or something. Um, so I was supposed to meet Huck at the airport. And uh, <laughs> so I wait for him at my luggage. I tried to text him, you know, I buy the fucking $5 for an hour Wi-Fi thingy. And uh, next thing you know, <laughs> we, get, we, get, we get to message each other. And uh, he's at the wrong airport. We're so bad. We were so bad. Because, uh, we, like, I told him, like, my terminal, but we didn't check if we had the same airport. Because uh, he was coming in, like, 30 minutes earlier than me. So that was pretty, that was pretty stupid. The first day, uh, <laughs> I stayed at the hotel. I just relaxed, uh, watched Netflix. My hotel was uh, sort of crappy, you know. Uh, but the internet was good enough for Netflix. So, you know, I can, I can rest in peace. Uh, I watched one 3L and a, a couple of UDs of rain and, and stuff. Uh, day two, I was supposed to meet Huck at IHOP. Uh, and I, al I almost want to show you guys with, yeah, I will show you guys with Expedia. Um, I was supposed to meet Huck and uh, Sphinx, the translator, had a high op. But uh, I lost myself on the way there. And I'll explain to you guys right now. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that, that's going to be good. Hold on. Express. All right. Look at this. I'm gonna full screen, take that off. That's my script. Someone's gonna like pause and see what I have to say, and they're gonna be like, ah, I'm not interested. <laughs> and then they're, they're never gonna look back. So that was my hotel, the Hanaim Express Inn. I, wanna, I just wanna show you, explain to you guys what happened. So that's my hotel right here, right here, like on this corner. Shut up, on this corner right here. So that's the convention center, and uh, if we zoom in a little bit more, uh, okay. So that's the convention center. There was like a Denny's here, High Hops right here. There's the Hilton and the food court. There's a 7-Eleven. There's a Subway, a pizza place right here. Last year, my hotel was around here, so I'm, I'm right here, right? And uh, so I tell Huck to go uh, eat breakfast at High Hop, but uh, last year I was on this side, so I've never been on this side. And right here, there's like a street to go to the convention center in the Hilton. So I asked for directions, but she failed me. And uh, she failed me, like she said, just turn left. And so I walked here and then I got to the street right here. So I like turned left and then I ended up like walking all the way here. And then I was like, okay, well, if I'm at the front of the convention, I know where IHOP is from there. So I like, instead of doing this, and taking like 10 minutes to go to IHOP, I did like this. And then I came like 25 minutes late to IHOP and they were like, we thought, we thought something bad happened to you. We were worried, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I just got lost. So that was the, that was the, the, the second day. I was just very goofy. And then after, after we ate, we went to the event together. Now, a lot of people, there was like controversy. They were like, ah, it's smarter than before. It, it was, not by much. Uh, but the player area was trash. Like, uh, they always had uh, 64 computers. But this time around, they had 34 computers. So the amount of wait that you had to do and the amount of warm-up you got in before your games was pretty bad. Um, so I talked with Total Biscuit for like 10... 15 minutes, uh, talk with State, Yon, Sage, Minigun, Puck, just, you know, like the usual people I talk to on, uh, on the ladder or on Skype. Um, and then the bracket got released, and I played one of my mods first round, he's bronze, and uh, <laughs> we were talking with, uh, I think, um, Livin' Pink or someone else, or no, with, with Huck, 
and uh, he's like, hey, look there. And then one of my mod, he's a VSRZ something in chat, uh, ritual. Um, and then he's like, look over there. And then he turns around and he starts chugging a flask of alcohol, like thinking I wouldn't see him. I don't know if he's an alcoholic, but he, he was just very nice. I played him first round. Um, just, you know, <laughs> bronze player, right? So uh, game two, uh, round two, I had state, you know, state, second place, uh, second place, uh, Shotcraft America. So game one, I did a blink call in, and it worked super well, like I crushed him, bam. And I didn't expect to win state, so I was really happy. And then game two, I did a blink call in that I should have won, That's that, uh, that lasted 20 minutes, where I pulled my probes, uh, because I was mined out. Like, I killed his natural, but then he rebuilt it. So uh, I just like got sloppy with the ma uh, the micro, and then game three he did a quick expand again, and I did a proxy stargate. But he saw my oracle. Like I'm not lying. Like some people are like, nah, they play, stay played better. You're wrong. That's wrong. But no, I swear to God, like this. Like he poked his monitor core just to see like below his ramp on derelict, uh, just to see below his ramp. And then my my oracle, he saw it by this. And then if he doesn't see my oracle, I get to kill some probes, and then I get to bust him at the front. But because he saw my oracle, I had to wait for two, three oracles. I tried to do a bust at the front, but then on Derelict, it's like three force field ramp. So then he force filled at me and I died. And I was sad. Uh, so, um, because it took so long, because there was only 30 to computer, that was like 11 p.m. midnight. Uh, so I left the event, I said bye to uh, Huck, and because um, I, I pretty much hanged out with him the whole time. And then, uh, so on D2, my match wasn't until 1 p.m., so uh, <laughs> I watched a little bit of the next flick in the morning. I watched Rain, some uh, some of his uh, VODs, and, uh, and uh, WCS Korea. Then I left for the event. Uh, for breakfast, I had, like, some muffins. I bought muffins at a convenience store. So uh, D2, I show up around noon. My first match is versus Hello Kitty. I was not confident because, again, like, I was explaining that to my parents, and, like, State is, like, top 15 of, like... America, like North America, and but if we class it by uh, race, he's like top five. It's like Huck, State, and then Minigun because he doesn't play much, and then there's Puck, and then in my opinion, there's Hello Kitty. So, uh, so like Hello Kitty is about like top 25, 20 of North America, and then State is about top 15, in my opinion. So, um, I wasn't confident versus Hello Kitty game one. Uh, okay, so before the match. Uh, Kitty asks, uh, like, uh, I tell Kitty, I'm like, yeah, I lost 1 2 versus State yesterday. And then I said, uh, he tried to ex quick expand uh, all, all games, and he said, like, yeah, so you all then, right? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and then, because I said that, so game one, I went like one gate expand, super quick macro, and he took like his expand later than me, so I had like s sort of a lead. Then he tried to do DTs, but I stopped it. And then he tried to grab like a really quick third, and he went into Colossus Voidray. But then I did a Immortal Archon bust, and I killed him. And then game two, it took so much balls from him. He did the proxy two gate, but with the cyber core at the proxy, so he had like Zealot, Zealot, Stalker. And I did Zealot, Zealot, Mothership Core, Stalker. And the Mothership Core is so beefy, I just killed his proxy. And then he lost, and I was pretty happy. After that, I played uh, Clarity Intense. And then after that, I had uh, one of the Kespo Korean stats. So, like, the time, I went around the event telling everyone, like, Oh, shit, dude, I'm playing stats. It's gonna be so hard. And then one time, Intense catches me. He's like, what? You have to play me first, bro. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah well, I guess we'll see about that. And then, um, <laughs> and then like 15 minutes later, we start like setting up our stuff at the at the station. And then he's like, "Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, who wins? We're, we're both gonna get crushed by stats." And then I tell him, uh, "Talk for yourself." And <laughs> uh, so the games, game one, uh, he did a uh, Albat Marauder Evie with Medivax, and uh, <laughs> he had a lead. And then I played on the back foot for like 20 minutes, and then I had like clutch moves, and I came back, and I won. And right before uh, winning, I slashed dance with my whole army. And then uh, game two, it was... I can remember game two. I, I won pretty easily. Uh, but he was, he was a good sport after it. We shook hands, and it was okay. And then uh, later on, I had to play stats. Um, 
And uh, dur during this time, you know, I talked with Huck in between games. Uh, he had to play uh, State. Uh, or he played State on, on Friday night, I think. He played State on Friday night, and he won 2 1, and then he lost to Naniwa. And then. Uh, or maybe that was on. No, I think. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, so then, then I played stats. Uh, game one, he did a 3 gate pressure. I thought he was going to go blank because we had like the, the same build order. I thought he was going to go blank, but no, he did a 3 gate pressure. And then I tried to go blank, and then he just had more shit than me. And then he had this like stalker ahead baiting my army. So I was like, what are you doing with that stalker? I'm going to kill it. And then he baited me with a 3 gate pressure, and then I was trying to go blank. So I delayed like my second and third stalker. We both opened two gates. Uh, and then game two, I was talking with Puck in between games, and he told me, like, he's going to do one gate expand. You should uh, do blink without Mothership Core, which I've never done. I don't know why I listened to him, and I did that, and then he did DTs. But uh, my mistake was I saw quickly that he didn't one gate expand, so I should have threw down a Robo, but I didn't, and then I died. But stats, stats is like a boss. Uh, every PvP, he played about, like, six of them. Every, no, eight of, nine Every PvP, he did a different build order. Like, every game. Because he, he beat uh, Puck. So I talked with him. He told me, okay, he did those builds. So I, I tried to prepare. And then I saw the games versus Deer that you lost to. And then he did different builds. And then after he beat me, he played my teammate Remark. He did different builds again. And then he played Huck. And he did different builds again. So on day two, I lost to Stats. Uh, I stayed at the event just to, uh, to talk with Huck and uh, support him during his games. He played Sasquatch, uh, and he won 2-1. I gave him a, a couple of feedback in between the games, and then he played Stats, and he, uh, Huck played really well versus Stats. He won a macro game, and I gave him feedback in between the games. I don't know, like Game 3 versus Stats, he did a proxy, and it failed horribly. And uh, after after the after his games, when he was out, we talked like we were watching uh, main stage uh, matches until the end of the day, and we were talking like if you're playing if you're gonna play Korean, I think it's much better to play macro than to play an all in because they've seen it all on the Korean server and they've seen much more uh, refined all ins while going macro gives you more option to harass and to turn things around even though you might be outmatched in terms of skills you can still make things happen and he kinda agreed uh, maybe next time you'll play macro instead of a proxy gate and a game 3 uh, but he finished up 16 that was pretty good 16 to 12 um, so yeah so uh, that was that was the 3 uh, or day 2 of MLG day 3 of my traveling uh, and then the uh, last day of MLG, <laughs> I stayed in my hotel room and watched Netflix and the stream on my tablet. I didn't, I didn't feel like going. Um, there was like a side tournament. Uh, it's not like announced, and I can't tell you who won. But um, they were like taking, they were asking players on Saturday who wanted to play and stuff. And I, I went and asked the admin, and I like, I hope I find who it is that guy, because he was such a dick. It was so awkward. So he asked a bunch of players that are like barely inactive, I'm much better than them, more, like I have a better popular stream than them. He asked those players, and then I, I go and ask him, and like some of those players said no, so like technically there should be room for me. And he's like, and he doesn't like really look at me, and he's just like, he looks at his list. He looks at his list. He's like, I don't know, man, I don't know. And like Puck asked him for me too, and we were like, what the fuck? And then he's like, I don't know, but show up tomorrow if there's room, maybe. Like, maybe. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, like, if I can find this handman, like, I might have to hold a grudge for the rest of my life to this guy. So, uh, I was like, I wanted to show up to play the tournament, but I didn't want to, like, get ditched and bring my backpack and everything with me. So I was just like, man, they can play their tournament. Fuck that guy. And uh, so I stayed in, and then uh, I just, yeah, watched streams. Uh, and then the traveling, uh, getting back to uh, getting back to Canada uh, was pretty. It was pretty good. Uh, I'm never taking a connection to Toronto because they make you walk outside the secure area, so you have to like get a scan again, which is retarded. 
Um, so next time I'm trying to take a direct flight if my connection is to Toronto. And also, the fucking customs guy, like, he, he, he did a full search of me, like, for no reason. I think, like, uh, one of the guy wrote the thing on my customs card, like, this guy is suspicious or some shit. So, like, he, they made me stop, he did a full search, he went through my tablet, my phone, and uh, he checked at all my pictures, I had, like, private pictures and shit. And he, like, he checked through everything, my emails, like, what the fuck? And, I, and he played Dota too, too. So I was like, what is this? Like, I, I look suspicious. Like, you think I'm smuggling drugs? <laughs> and like, I didn't understand at all. Um, but yeah, so I came back to MLG yesterday, from MLG yesterday. And uh, yeah, and, and it's not illegal. Apparently, like when you cross the border, you like, they don't need a warrant to do anything. I wonder if I would have had like a password on my tablet and my phone. If I said, like, no, I don't want you to look at the at that, if he could have, like, kept me. So I think, like, next time I'm traveling, I'll just put a password for that specific reason. Uh, so last topic, so that was my MLG experience, just a quick recap. I lost to State 1-2, I lost to Stats 0-2. I think maybe if I would have beat State, I would have been on the main stage, because State versus Huck. Uh, because that, I would have played Huck if I beat State, was on the main stage, but then again, I'm not sure, because um, it's kind of obvious at this point that being fat holds me back for a lot of things. Uh, maybe that maybe that admin that didn't want me to play in the tournament, maybe it was because I was fat, you know, is MLG going to put me on the main stage? Like, maybe if I get, if I lose weight until I'm fat, like Chef, that's like more acceptable and they'll let me on stage, but for now... I think maybe even if I beat State, they wouldn't have put me on. Um, and, and that goes for a lot of things, you know, like uh, pe people are nice, but they're also very judgmental. So it's it kind of sucks to being held back by my weight. And uh, to continue on that note, uh, I've been struggling with my weight. Uh, like I've been grumpy on stream for no reasons, and it's because of my weight. Uh, th there's been a lot of stress, you know, with with team issues, with WCS, with uh, plenty of stuff, really. Uh, but I'm tired of being a bitch, uh, and uh, so for the next two, three days, I won't be streaming until Saturday, because it always takes like two or three days to get back on my diet, and during the process of like quitting sugar, I, I'm like grumpy at everything, and I have no patience. And that really sucks, because I'm trying like to, to stream and, and like do my job, but it's like impossible because like anything that's said on the chat, I'm like, what this? What does this guy want from me? Like, do I have to babysit him? But like, the guy actually is just nice. He wants to know more about me. I should be happy. But because I'm like trying to quit sugar, I just want to like choke him, and like he's just asking like, how did you do in your tournament? You know. So it's really um, hopefully the three days will 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 be good. Um, that's that kind of sucks because on Saturday there's another WCS qualifier. There was one today I lost. There's one on Saturday. I'm probably gonna do poorly because like tomorrow and uh, for my three days I'm I think I'm gonna buy like uh, a game on Steam and go to the gym a lot and walk my dog and try to not stay too much on the computer and just be bored. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. An update on my diet. A lot of people are like. That's right, you've lost weight! And then I'm like, no, it's not true, but I, I don't want to talk about it because then I'm, I'll be asked a thousand times. But uh, I even made a, like, a vlog like a month and a half ago and I like, canceled it or like I didn't upload it because I, I, I don't think I was ready. But uh, I'm really motivated my, no, now more than ever simply because like, I want to do it for myself because it owes me back in so many ex aspects and I'll be more happy in the long run. I mean, like... Yeah, it's been a pretty long battle. Uh, started trying to lose weight two years ago, in like uh, in autumn, and I've lost a hundred pounds. But in the last year, I've like gained in Poland, lost when I got back, and then I stayed at the same since. So it's it's gonna take time. Um, but you have to take it one day at a time. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so MLG, so what next, uh, WCS qualifiers, I won't make a vlog for that, uh, there's gonna be another MLG, hopefully it's not open bracket, I prefer qualifiers, uh, so I don't have to, uh, ask you guys for donations, uh, maybe one day if so will, will, will think I'm worthy and send me, but, 
Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, Twitter.com slash just for fighting. Facebook.com slash just for fighting. Uh, oh, also, I didn't drink at MLG, so tonight I'll be drinking Long Island iced teas. Uh, and then tomorrow I'll start my diet. I really wanted to drink Long Island iced teas, but I didn't go out drinking with the people at MLG. So I'll, I'll try to do homemade Long Island iced teas. But yeah, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. Special fighting and then subscribe on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching the vlog, vlog number 29.